Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. And you can find us on YouTube at Joey143Jenny. So today I am working on my final piece to go in the Peacock Journal. And um, I'm going to do a final walkthrough probably tomorrow uh, when I'll take this plastic uh, protective cover off. Um, this was that cellophane. Oh, it's that cling, cling wrap, I think is what it's called. Um, you can get it in the kitchen section. Um, I got bits and pieces everywhere. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, what I did was I used the kits that we've been uh, using for this journal and um, I just made journal cards and pockets out of them. I did also add some charms down here. The person that I'm giving it to um, I, I think we'll really enjoy that. I added ruffles. I was going to do this with you if I decided to do it, which to be honest, I really went back and forth on the ruffles because they're really, this type is not my thing, but um, considering the person I'm giving it to, I think we'll really enjoy the ruffles and I really wanted to make this journal very specific to that person. So I went ahead and added them and I think they're going to be okay. They look fun and the colors are you know kind of peacock looking anyway so right here i wanted to put one of rachel uh rachel at roxy creations look at i've used the fabric tack and it's taken all my nail, nail polish off so <laughs> excuse that but anyways uh, i wanted to make the document folder that she made and um i thought i would turn the camera on and do that with you and I did gather some papers. I'll show you those here in a little bit. And then the other thing is, um, let's see if I can find it. I think I have it right over here. I haven't ironed this. And once I put it in the journal, I'm, I'm going to iron it. Once I put it in the journal, I'm not going to take it out. So it won't be in the, you'll see it poking out. But it won't be in the final uh, show and tell walkthrough of the journal. But this is a, a beautiful probably quilt piece that I found and when I found it it was the flowers through here and then the tail and then I just added a little color here um, to outline and to put some feathers in and then that's really all I'm going to do with it because I really like the history of you know having that print on there and this old fabric and the fabric has not been laundered because typically what would happen is after you launder these lines would come out and so I want to keep that in so I'm gonna press that and then I'll fold it somehow and then I'll put it in a belly band uh, for this person to have so all right so let's go ahead and get started with Rachel's um, it's her Roxy's weekly challenge and um, I'll have to find the one I think it might be five and basically what she did now she has oh you you have to watch hers um, she has wonderful paper um, she is in Italy and has access to you know papers that are like 1700 1800 and so they're gorgeous lots of fun documents um, I don't have anything that old at all, uh, but I did have, I have this coffee dyed paper that I glued on the back of this photocopy of a doily or a, um, a linen table, I guess it's a label, a uh, linen table runner maybe is what I would say. And it's really cool. I mean, I think the print turned out really great, but you should see it in person. It's absolutely beautiful. And you know how I love old stuff that's butter feeling, and that's how this linen feels. Um, you can see I've got glue messed up everywhere. So uh, caution on the fabric tack. It's going to mess your nails up. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so basically what she did, if I can remember, I watched it a week or so ago, is you fold down a little bit of the top here. And then you fold up the bottom just to, to tuck under the top. Okay. Uh, that looks like that could be folded a little better. Okay. 
then you find some of your documents. So what I've done is um, I thought I, I looked for things that I thought my friend that is going to get this journal would enjoy. So I found this old letter um, piece out of a uh, journal or a uh, dictionary. Uh, this old fun menu. Let's see what's on here. Deviled Maryland crab meat, all gratin, 225. Hot prime rib of beef sandwich, au jus, $2. I love it. So anyways, I thought that would be fun. And then you've seen this before in one of my finds. This is a ledger paper. And then another really fun letter from 1943. And then this really fun paper. It's, I think this paper probably goes somehow this is folded over or something because it's, you know, it goes this way and then it goes this way. But I chose to put it up like this because I'm going to attach it up here. And then I found this Heart and Soul um, music. And I can't remember what this is called. It's out of a particular music type of book where, where the person writes in the music. So what I did here is because um, it was wide and it's long, so I'm going to fold it up. But uh, what I did was I wanted to leave the top... But I also wanted to fold it in so this person would be able to, you know, open the whole thing up and see it. So I ended up having to cut the corners out so it would fold nicely to the back. And I thought that might be a nice, you know, when you open it. So, so based off of what I remember from Rachel, line these up however you want. Uh, I... <laughs> I only have a couple of choices of binding, uh, uh, what are they called, um, these little tab things. I have really big and really tiny, really big and really tiny. So I get a feeling I'm going to have to go with the really big, although I like the, the way that the really tiny looks, you know, with these papers because of the color of it. Um, anyways, try to get that down as, as far as you can, you know, making sure everything comes to, to the end there and then put it up under your tab. The thing I like about this, let me grab some paper clips. The thing I like about this is that if the person wants to undo it and take these out, they sure could. It's not permanent. So I like that. I'm going to paper clip. I think she used her jaw clamps, which I probably should, but I don't have any clothes. So now I'm just going to just double check. And that did shift. So I'm just going back through and making sure everything pokes up in there. All the way to the top. And then uh, my most narrow is right here and right here. So I think I'm going to need to put my two brads. That's the, that's what I was trying to think of, brads. Oh, yesterday I could not think of embossing. I think I showed you some paper yesterday. Could not think of the word embossing. I don't know. Sometimes things just get lost in this head. So anyways, when I put two holes here, this is kind of a cap that's like a rounded cap. I don't know if you can see that. And these are flush, but I just I just don't know if these are going to be. I'm going to give them a try. And I'm actually trying to figure out how I'm going to get get it in there because at first I thought it would poke a hole, but now I think that hole might be too big. Um so we may end up using the brads anyways. So I need to make sure I get it just where those papers are because I don't, oh man, there we go, get it just where those papers are because I, I don't want to, um, I don't want them coming out. Wow, that was tight. All right, I'm just going to see if this is going to, if that'll slide through or not. Ooh, it's 
Hmm. Let's just see. Maybe it will work. I think I'm going to be pressing it if it does. Good news is, is that this isn't really a document. You know, I mean, it's not like people are going to be ruffling through this over and over. It's not like a court document or anything. Well, let's see if that'll work. See, I like how that looks better than, than I think I would these. Okay. All right. I don't mind it. All right. Now, what I need to do is... Um, okay, so I already have that fold in there. Now, Rachel said you can fold it after you get everything done, but I really felt like I needed that fold to help me as a guide. So here's that first letter, and it already has its own fold, but I'm going to also fold it again. Yeah. I do that right? Let's just see. Let's just see if I get these. All right. I think what I'm going to do is <laughs> all over the place. Fold it at the crease. Fold it at that crease and get my bone folder. I mean, it's chunky, but that's the way I roll. Chunky. Okay, so then we use a bone folder. I put this drape down because I wasn't going to be gluing, and um, I did clean off my table, but it I did get you know some glue gunk on it that is not easily coming off, so I need to clean that off. Okay, so now I have that. So now what I need to do is fold these up to where they will fit under. Okay. There's one. Let's see, will that one fit under it? Nope. This one I might go ahead and fold back the way that it's designed here. Or I think it's designed that way. Okay, and I'm, I'm just uh, using the bone folder just because I know it's chunky and I want to, you know, see. Okay, that one's fine. This one I will... Just need to fold up a little bit. I love that menu. It's super fun. It has a crease there, but I'm going to fold it right here. Let's see, where's that crease? Right there. Nope, it's still not going to be right. All right. <clears throat> or maybe this one I'll go backwards. Kind of give it a, kind of spread out the thickness here. And that one worked. It's going to poke out a little bit, but that's okay. Now this one, nope. So this goes under and then up. Oh, it is thick. All right, let's see if it will. Well, almost. Come on, can we do it? I probably should have made this this first lap here a little bit longer but let's see hope I'm not shaking you too badly I might have to put something to to help keep it from coming undone okay yeah um, I did grab this. I should have put it under. Uh, this person has is a very faith-filled person. And so I found one of these old, do you remember these um, daily bread? That's what they were called. And I have some old, old of those. And so I rounded the corners, punched a hole in it. And let's see if that will work. I'm going to give that a nice squish. All right, is that going to keep it shut? Yeah, that'll keep it shut. Still need to give it a little poke. Okay, 
Wow. I mean, really, I made it a lot harder than it, I made it a lot harder than it really is. It's very simple. Um, I just wanted to put a bunch of gunk in there. I don't, I think rather than doing that, maybe put um, less in and make two, you know, so. All right, put that in there. Let's see if I can get it scooched up a little bit. Okay, we did it. Wow, okay, uh, that was really fun. Um, all right, now I guess what I could do is um, well, I don't really want to walk you through this until I have the whole thing done, but I will tell you what's, what's coming up next. <laughs> next is just a lot of play. And so as you can imagine, I have a ton of scraps left from the journal. Let me pull them over here. Lots of scraps. And so what I thought I would do is use those in use those in this calendar collage that I started. And so that's what will be next. So what I'll do is I'll go to the next page and I've already started. I put a few things here um, and just start filling it in with some of that. So that's what's next. So that was a really quick and easy, uh, that was a quick and easy one video, and hopefully this orientation will work out. Guys, I don't even know what happened yesterday, so um, I finally figured out what I needed to do with my phone to get it to orientate the right way, and then yesterday I just moved my filming arm down two inches on the table and I don't know what happened, but that's somehow the the video came out um, portrait again. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens with this one. And um, so I will put this on, this video on, and then I'm going to completely finish the journal once I iron that one. And then I'll put a band around it, and I have a really fun little thing to secure the band. And then I will, um, I'll do a final walkthrough, and I'm super excited. I won't show everything, ah, just because I want there to be some goodies for the person that gets it, in case they watch. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing our channel um, and helping us to reach our goals. Uh, we really appreciate that. And thank you for the visitors and um, people that are so encouraging about this channel and and uh, you know the crafts and and um, our life and Joey and how he's doing and all your thoughts and prayers we really really appreciate it don't forget if you're in the area I hope you'll stop by and maybe craft or we'll just sit and have a cup of tea I love you guys thank you have a great day blessings